anti-lockdown tensions across Europe explode into violence for a second night running. With Lucrezia Millerini. Good evening. As COVID cases surge across Europe, so too does the frustration and anger by many over government-imposed sanctions. Tens of thousands took to the streets in cities right across the continent. It follows another night of violence in the Netherlands, this time in The Hague, with fireworks aimed at police and flaming barricades on the streets. Sergio Carrier reports. Well, here the health secretary has played down any need for further restrictions in the UK, despite the rising numbers of coronavirus cases on the continent. However, Sajid Javid has urged us all to remain cautious as we head towards Christmas. The taxi driver who survived the terror attack outside Liverpool Women's Hospital says he is lucky to be alive. This is the first time that we've heard from Mr Perry about his ordeal. Yes, on Sunday when the taxi he was driving... Mark, thank you. Manchester United, one of the biggest football clubs and most recognisable brands in the world, are this evening looking for a new manager. They confirmed this morning that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has been sacked following a 4-1 loss to Watford yesterday, leaving them seventh in the Premier League table. Chris Gudder has the latest. With growing concern over the safety of tennis star Peng Shui, Chinese state media have released a video of her at the opening ceremony of an event in Beijing. It was sparked after she disappeared from public view following sex abuse allegations she made against a former top Chinese state official, which was swiftly deleted from social media. Our Asia correspondent Debbie Edward reports from Beijing. ITV News understands the Queen attended a special double christening ceremony this afternoon in Windsor. She was among guests for the event for her great-grandsons August Brooksbank and Lucas Tyndall, who were both born earlier this year. A ceremony originally planned for July is thought to have been postponed due to the pandemic with Martin Stew. Now Adele has talked the music streaming company Spotify uh, into removing the shuffle button from all of her album pages. Formula One and just time to update you on this weekend's inaugural Qatar Grand Prix. Wearing... Before we go, a quick reminder that you can hear more about what's happening from our ITV News podcasts. That is it. I'm back with the late news at 10.40. Until then, enjoy your evening. Bye-bye.